Behind me is the all new Rolls Royce Phantom, the most luxurious car in the world. It's massive, it's imposing, it's opulent beyond words and packed with tech. And it'll cost you $573,000. Stand to the side of the Phantom and you're truly able to grasp its sheer size. At 227.2 inches long, it's 7.3 feet longer than a Fiat 500. Or for a more relevant comparison, it's two feet longer than a BMW 7 Series. The crazy part is this is just the short wheelbase model. For those, for whatever reason, need more room than this, there's an extended wheelbase version with an extra 8.6 inches of room. With its gargantuan proportions, you'd imagine it'd be quite difficult to maneuver around town and nearly impossible to park. Now for those people with drivers, this isn't a concern. You can have the driver deal with all of those problems. But Rolls-Royce claims that of the standard wheelbase model, 80% of them are actually driven by their owners. So this does become a concern. Well, Rolls-Royce has mitigated this issue using four-wheel steering. That's right, cutting-edge technology used in sports cars like the GT2 RS for agility around sharp corners is used in the Rolls-Royce Phantom to make it more practical. Let me explain. You see, at speeds below 37 miles an hour, the rear wheels actually turn in the opposite directions as the front. Let's say you turn the steering wheel to the right, the rear wheels are gonna move to the left. This effectively shortens the wheelbase of the car, making it much easier to make sharp turns, make U-turns, and maneuver in a parking lot. It also makes the hefty 5,650 pound massive Phantom feel more nimble. 21 inch wheels are standard on the Phantom, these are the optional 22s. Before we continue, I wanted to give a special shout out to Agera Coach of Westlake for making this video possible. This exact car is available there now and their super friendly, and I mean super friendly staff, will take good care of you. I've got a link in the description below for this car. Make sure to check it out. The new front grille of the Phantom is now two inches higher than before, making it feel even more commanding on the road. The headlights have these gorgeous frosted glass accents and use lasers, yes lasers, to illuminate the road up to 650 yards ahead. These downward facing accents on the lower left and right of the front fascia remind me of the perfectly sculpted beard of an emperor. And as always, if you try to steal the Spirit of Ecstasy emblem off the front of a Rolls Royce, it drops out of the way. Under the massive hood of the Rolls-Royce Phantom lies a revised version of the 6.6 liter twin turbocharged V12 that's used in the current Rolls-Royce Ghost and Wraith. Now in the Phantom, it's 6.75 liters, makes 563 horsepower and 664 pound-feet of torque. Yes, the sportier Rolls-Royce Wraith makes a lot more peak power than the Phantom, but it also makes a heck of a lot less torque, a figure that Rolls-Royce says is very important to its Phantom clients. Obviously, it must deliver. All 664 pound-feet of torque are available at just 1,700 RPMs. Now, despite weighing over 5,600 pounds, Rolls-Royce claims the Phantom 8 is able to hit 60 miles an hour in just 5.1 seconds. Yeah, 563 horsepower, you only make one. Come around to the back of the Phantom and you'll notice the rear of the car is two inches lower than before. That allows the waft line, yes, this is the official terminology for this design character line that runs along the side of the Phantom to slope downwards, giving the Phantom the appearance of zooming off into the distance like a luxury speedboat. A complaint many owners had of the Phantom 7 was a lack of trunk space, while on the Phantom 8, that won't be an issue whatsoever. The chassis in the Phantom is all new. It uses an aluminum space frame construction, meaning it's 30% more rigid yet lighter at the same time. This is important because this chassis will be used on the all new Rolls-Royce Cullinan SUV, as well as the next generation Ghost and Wraith. All right, well, enough about the exterior. Let's hop on in the inside. Actually, I lied. The suicide doors are way too cool not to show off. How epic is that? And oh, by the way, you can actually close the doors now with the click of a button on the door handle. Check this out. One click here. Oh. Yes, close the door for me, sir. How awesome is that? With the new Phantom, Rolls-Royce wanted to redefine the meaning of luxury within the interior. And they've done so in quite a unique way. 
Knowing that many Rolls-Royce owners are art collectors and art connoisseurs, they wanted to incorporate artwork into the dash of the vehicle itself. Check this out, I'm gonna click the lock button here. The infotainment screen slides down, revealing a three-dimensional art piece that spans the entire width of the dashboard. Seated behind a piece of glass, yes, this is glass, that is a serious engineering marvel, is what Rolls-Royce calls the gallery. The coolest part is, you can have it however you like. Would you like three-dimensional sculpted flowers behind there? One owner went as far as translating his DNA into a gold-plated sculpture and had that situated behind the gallery screen. Rolls-Royce even had to develop a clean room so that when they installed the gallery, not a single speck of dust would get behind the glass. Of course, a stable of a luxury vehicle is an analog clock, so we have this beautiful clock situated here as well. What would be really cool and an improvement I'd like to see in the Phantom is a mechanical clock that actually has a ticking second hand. All right, so what about the rest of the interior? Well, that is marvelous as well. The feedback you get on every button click is just extraordinary. We've got individual buttons for the heated seats, the cooled seats, as well as a heated steering wheel. Even the names for the setting on the climate controls feels luxurious. Instead of low, medium, and high, the lowest setting for the air is soft. Yes, I'd like my air soft, please. Below that, we can control whether it's hot or cold air with these lovely slidable dials. Even the door lock and unlock button is pretty, and next to that is the most gorgeous hazard button ever to be situated in a vehicle. Obviously, the most important part of the Rolls-Royce Phantom is the rear seat experience. Now, that starts on the outside of the vehicle with the easy-to-use, easy-to-enter rear hinged doors. Now, for the Phantom 8, they had some complaints from Middle Eastern clientele wearing kafea, traditional headdresses, that they couldn't easily get into the vehicle. So, the door stills have been opened outwards, and the roof has been raised a little bit so that it's easier for them to get in the car. The rear seat experience of the Phantom 8 is absolutely breathtaking. Rolls-Royce refers to this area as the suite, and I can see why. You've got more headroom, legroom, shoulder room than you could ever need or want. The most spectacular part is that this is the normal wheelbase version. The pillows behind your head are more comfortable than the ones you have in your own bed. Now let's pull down this center console here. On it, we have controls for the seats. The rear seats also massage you, and they're heated and cooled as well. Over here on the right are the climate controls. We have the same leather-wrapped knob that has soft, medium, and high as the settings. Over here, we have the controls for the curtains. Click this, and the curtain rolls softly horizontally because vertical opening and closing curtains are for poor people. We've also got an additional button here to open and close the curtains in the back. They open like this, as if a play is about to start. Spectacular. There are even mirrors located in the C pillars so you can stare at yourself. The features don't stop there, however. Let's go ahead and open up this. Yes, in here, we have champagne flutes and a cooler to hold a bottle of champagne. Another feature of the Rolls-Royce that you never knew you needed, but it turns out you're wrong, is the movable angled floorboard. So what do I mean by that? Well, let's say you're going for a long drive in the back of a Phantom. Long drive. Should I say long ride? Well, eventually, because of the sumptuous lamb's wool floor mats and likely your slippery leather Italian shoes, neither of which I am wearing right now, your feet might start to slip forward. That means you're going to slouch and get lower and lower in the chair. That's not luxurious. Well, Rolls-Royce has come up with a solution for that. We have controls right here to angle the floorboard upwards, and that little bit of extra angle keeps you comfortably in place. There are also beautiful wooden tray tables that extend down from the backs of the front seats. Click a button here, and boom, it opens up for you. It also reveals a 12-inch screen that you can use to watch movies or track the navigation to make sure your chauffeur is going in the right direction. Now, Rolls-Royce states that most people choose actually to detach from all the technological features in the rear of the Rolls-Royce and simply relax. I can understand why. It is absolutely serene back here, and in a fast-paced world, the Phantom gives you a cocoon of luxury so you can unplug for a little bit and just simply enjoy the ride. Now, have no fear. 
fear, if you do need to stay connected to the internet, it does have a Wi-Fi hotspot. One of the coolest aspects of the Rolls-Royce Phantom's interior is the Starlight headliner. While it used to be just in this section here, it now spans the entire length of the roof. 1,340 fiber optic cables peer through with different intensities and angles through the headliner in order to create this constellation-based design. It's very customizable as well. One owner wanted a replica of Ursa Minor and Major in the headliner. Somebody even got a Rolls-Royce logo recreated using dots as if you didn't already know this was a Rolls Royce. Controlling the Starlight Headliner is super easy using this control panel here. To turn the stars on and off, you click this button, which has pictures of stars on it, and watch as they softly fade out and disappear like they were never there. Only Rolls Royce would think of something so luxurious. Let's turn them back on. You can also control the brightness of the lights using this toggle here. Now what happens if you wanna use your reading light? Okay, it's dark out and you'd like to read a book. Click a button on the roof and not only do you get a reading light located here, but you get a circular pattern of stars above just your head. How trick is that? Let's turn on the passenger side. Ah. Oh there is your circle of stars as well. Since Rolls-Royce claims that 80% of standard wheelbase phantoms are driven by their owners, let's see what it's like to drive. Well, the Phantom has many incredible features. None are even close to as impressive as the way this car drives. It is quieter than you ever imagined a vehicle could be on the road. In fact, it's 10% quieter than the Phantom 7 at 60 miles an hour, which seemed like an impossible task. It's almost scary how quiet it is. 286 pounds of insulating material help isolate you from the harsh world. We also have dual pane glass to further reduce the noise. The tires, yeah, the tires themselves have foam in them in order to reduce tire noise so it's further quiet. The suspension, self-adjusting air suspension with the largest air springs that money can possibly buy. This allows the Phantom to feel like it's floating over the road instead of rolling, although Float Royce isn't the best name. Rolls-Royce calls this the magic carpet ride and that's truly what it feels like. Driving the Phantom seems more like you're riding in an airplane with absolutely zero turbulence than it does driving a car on the road. I've never been more relaxed in the driver's seat of a car in my entire life. Mash the gas and... Wow! <laughs> it's actually really quick. So quick, in fact, we have to test the zero to 60 of this thing. The transmission is tricky as well. It's an eight-speed ZF automatic. It's connected to the car's GPS as well as cameras. So why is that necessary? Well, the GPS is able to see that there's a turn ahead and the car will preemptively downshift to make sure the ride is as smooth as possible. How's about we pull over, set up the V-Box, and see how fast this thing will hit 60 miles an hour. Since we are stopped right now, it seems like a perfect time to talk about the car's backup camera. Here is the gear selecting lever, which feels lovely to put into gear. When in reverse, we have a similar system to BMW and Mercedes, of course, a 360 degree aerial view of the car, as well as a larger rear view camera with nice guidelines. Honestly, the Phantom is really not that hard to maneuver into parking spaces and parking lots with all the cameras and that rear wheel steering. Oh, looks like we've been joined by an M2. Might be a good time to drive a little bit faster in the Phantom and see what the driving dynamics are like at high speed. The brakes have the most fantastic feel to them. Slows the car down nicely, but just the actuation of pushing the brake pedal puts a smile on my face. Go ahead and floor it. And that torque instantly available. Wow, zooms you forward super quickly. There is a substantial amount of body roll while going around turns, but the mechanical grip levels are honestly impressive. All right, we've come to a stop here. Foot on the brake, foot on the gas, and take off. Rear wheel drive, but that was impressive traction. And 60. I think to make it a little bit quicker, we're gonna turn off traction control. So go into the My Vehicle Settings. Go to Vehicle Settings again. Scroll down to stability control. Let's go ahead and turn that off. All right, let's try this with traction off. Boom. All right, let's try it again, shall we? Brake, gas, launch. <laughs> 60. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Zero to 60 
in the exact 5.1 seconds that they claim. Let's go over the infotainment system, shall we? Very easy to use using this beautiful turnstile with the Spirit of Ecstasy logo on it. Let's go ahead and go to menu, then over to vehicle settings. On my vehicle, we've got a picture of your Rolls Royce Phantom. Click on that. Now I found something pretty interesting. If we go over to vehicle settings, there is actually an individual panel for tire chains. As if for some reason, you'd like to take your 563 horsepower rear wheel drive Rolls Royce Phantom in the snow, there is a setting for that. The steering wheel on the Phantom is absolutely enormous. It's wrapped in this textured leather that feels great in your hands. Piano black trim, chrome everywhere. We've got different cruise control settings. It does have adaptive cruise control where it can slow itself down or speed itself up. But like I mentioned in the Wraith review, Rolls-Royce doesn't believe that the current autonomous driving technology available today meets their standards for a Rolls-Royce luxurious driving experience. That means, no, the car can't steer itself. Now in a Phantom, especially the long wheelbase version, you can just sit in the back and your driver can do that for you, but it would be nice to see some self-driving technology implemented into this car. To the left of the steering wheel is the best looking light control panel of any vehicle I've ever tested. No matter where you look, normal places where people try to save money, the rear view mirror for instance, or the dome lighting up here, you can tell hours and hours of grueling, painstaking work was put in to make you feel more relaxed when you're on the road. Overall, the new Phantom is the most impressive luxury vehicle I've ever driven. Its ride quality is like nothing else on the planet. The finest materials, incredible design language that you won't see on any other vehicle. And it has the most serene experience, whether you're in the front seat, the passenger seat, and in the rear, that keeps you relaxed and puts a smile on your face the entire way. This is the Phantom 8, the most luxurious car in the world.